All right, so we just bought a new house, actually a new old house, uh, 1980 style uh, farmhouse. And uh, so we're, as we're moving in, we're finding new things that we need to work on and do. And so my helper here, he's handing me tools and stuff. And so this is what we ran into, the laundry room. So this right here will not come off. It has been painted on probably like 20 layers of paint and all kinds of crap on that thing. It will not come off. I've tried every trick I can think of, pipe wrench, um, everything else, uh, boiling water. I tried pouring boiling water on it from my water kettle to see if that would get it. And so the next stop is the Dremel tool. We're gonna angle that thing off and grind it and then peel it away. And my wife's staring at me. You wanna show up on the video? Um, do you want me to use the Dremel tool for you? No, she, she'll she get the Dremel tool when I'm done, but uh, I'll give you some results here in a minute uh, once we get done with uh, working on this problem. Um, and I've already, uh, done this and so these are new skills I'm learning. Uh, we had to go from a uh, four prong outlet on the dryer to a three prong outlet and so I have never done that before. It's actually super easy. I watched a YouTube video like you're probably doing right now and uh, we rewired the dryer so we can plug it into an ancient three prong outlet and so we'll stay tuned with more updates on the farmhouse. Y'all take care. All right, so we finally worked on it, and we got the fittings on there. You see them. And we got some new hoses that I actually brought from my old washer and dryer at home, brand new uh, steel braided ones. And uh, it was still leaking at first. And so ran to the hardware store, Ace Hardware, thank you, uh, nearby. And uh, we bought some Teflon tape, which uh, if you've been around houses much, you have seen this. I mean, as tiny as my knowledge is about anything to do with uh, repair and things like that. Um, I knew what this was, bought it, put it around the threads where it was still leaking um, because when I used the Dremel tool I actually gouged the threads just a tiny little bit and uh, this seems to have gotten it so far. I'm going to try to run the first load through it and uh, let's see how things go.